I want to report this stream before I lose it, before I lose the flavor of it. I've just spent most of the night in a kind of fever dream, although I wasn't in a fever. Um, but I found I was just drenched neck deep in this labyrinthine, uh, political plot or it was more like I was a part of some family or some organization some group that was uh, just deeply deeply compromised and um, and I was supposed to be some kind of agent, uh, I was supposed to be some kind of operative within this organization, um, I'm not sure what role I was supposed to play, but I, I totally forgot, I, I mean, I, 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 like, I know nobody knew this, but I didn't know what I was doing. It was like all the references that they were making to me, and they were just the, the it was when I say references, it was like there was a library of them. It, it was like it was chock full of uh, you know little little innuendos and 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 uh, uh, things that they were muttering to me, and I was supposed to know what they were talking about, and I didn't. But, but uh, I, 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 I guess I wasn't giving myself away, um, because nobody said nobody noticed that I didn't that I didn't know. Uh, what anything meant, but it was it was very much like being, you know, the, the actor's nightmare of being on stage and 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 uh, having the main part and not knowing your lines. <coughs> it was like that, only much more subtle. It was like just I didn't know anything, and. It was just so thick in the soup of all of this corruption and and uh, uh, it was uh, um, I I faintly registered that 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 uh, uh, it was appalling that it was disgusting in every way on every level but just that it just permeated everything and so it was almost it was just reality to them and to me but but i had forgotten i had forgotten everything it i had been all of the content all of the useful content had been drained from my mind and I was just bereft. I was just standing there among them, bereft of uh, of useful uh, knowledge of everything that they knew. And it almost just it almost didn't matter what I, what, what what we were doing. But it seemed like it was in the midst of some family gathering or something. And uh, I think I was pretending to have fun, kind of be a clown and, and just be playful. And and there were children there and I was sort of uh, horsing around, you know, doing stuff with them, you know, mugging with them, you know, taking selfies or something of, of us, 
being goofy. Um, but I was just bewildered. Like, and this was going on and on and on and on and on. For the, it was, it felt like it was the whole night. I don't know where this came from. I just don't know. I, the closest thing I can think of is that I was watching this uh, documentary on Netflix about about uh, kidnapping. Maybe you've seen it. Uh, about uh, it was it was about a kidnapping that was that 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 took place and and that was supposedly broken up by the uh, Mexican. Uh, version of the feds, you know, back when kidnappings were on the rise, I guess maybe they still are, but, and, uh, so, so the documentary is about this kidnapping, but that, that it's actually not what it seems, and that the, uh, you know, they're, that it was staged, and, and the real culprits aren't being punished, and, and, uh, you know, the, the the uh, state really knows the state and the criminals are are uh, intertwined. Just so so maybe maybe that was part of what fed into this this uh, this fever dream of mine. But it it just it was much more. It was it was like. Uh, so much more uh, thoroughgoing than, than just watch, watching anything on a screen. It was like, it, it was so, so experiential. I mean, it was, it was like just being, uh, being, being there and just being there among it, among it all and just not having a clue. And, uh, just not, not knowing anything. Uh, and it wasn't even so much about the horror of, uh, what all of this, this group or this organization or this family or, you know, this... Uh, maybe maybe it was a, like a mafia type organization, but it was of indeterminate ethnicity. Uh, but the the uh, the horror of what they stood for was was that was almost like background. The, the foreground was just <clears throat> the fact that I I was I was there and I, I was supposed to know what I was doing and I didn't. I was an imposter, or either that, either I was just an imposter who had dropped among them, but they didn't rec didn't notice the difference, uh, or I I had been one of them, and, and my mind had been, uh, you know, in it with them, and. Uh, and then suddenly something happened, and, and uh, they just vacuumed up everything in my mind that I previously knew. And so I was still there among them, just without a clue. But again, it was it was more subtle of a of a feeling of of, uh, a horror than, or, or, or more subtle of a feeling of, uh, of, what is it, embarrassment, or, uh, <clears throat> how do you describe the feeling of being on stage and not knowing any of your lines? Embarrassment, you know, just, 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 uh, uh, terror. It was, like, submerged terror because 
I knew that I didn't know what was going on, that they didn't know, that I didn't know what was going on. And so it was, it was a very, it was a very uneasy feeling, but I just was, was faking it. I was, I was faking it and, and, uh, like I said, being, uh, just, just, just being a goof off, uh, um, you know, in, in, a, in a way that, in a way that was appropriate to the situation, in a way that just made people look and think, ah, there he is, having, having fun with the kids, what a great guy, but I just, but if they knew that I didn't know anything, uh, about what they were telling me, I didn't know the context of anything. I didn't know what anything meant. I didn't get any references. I, you know, if they if they knew that, if they had done that, then it would be like, like, uh, like being in front of an audience, you know, <laughs> without. I guess the other nightmare is being naked, right? Being, being on stage naked or being anywhere naked. Uh, I don't think I've ever had that night though that I can remember I was naked but nobody knew my, my mind was naked I had been sheared of all my knowledge and I was naked uh, in my mind and, uh, and nobody noticed it wasn't just the emperor's new clothes because the emperor's new clothes, they notice, but they just pretend not to notice. In my case, they they were too preoccupied, or or whatever. They just I just didn't notice that I didn't notice that I didn't know anything. Um, crazy dream. I don't know what it, what it means. Um, I mean, as if like a like a fear of Alzheimer's. I don't know. It's it's weird to put it. If that were the case, it's weird to put it in that kind of sort of that kind of context. I. Uh, you know, I'm just, like, aware lately of how old I am and how my life is really, you know, the time is running out in my life. So I'm just trying to understand the dream and that sort of, in, in, in that kind of context. But, but I don't know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really work that way. Like, that, like that, that feeling wasn't really... Oh, that feeling wasn't really a part of anything in the dream. I could have been any age. I could have been a young man. Uh, or I could have been my age, but, but, but without care in the world. Except that deep down I knew that I, that I didn't know anything. Yeah. Well, there you have it. If anybody has any ideas, I'm all ears. Please let me know what the universe is telling me. <laughs>